Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be another taste test video. Um, oh, I got hair in my mouth. We're going to um, taste test, I think it's another 11 tomato varieties. Um, I think they're all open pollinated today. I don't think there's any hybrids today. Hmm. So we're just going to get right to it because we're running out of the daylight. Um, the first one we're going to do is Mountaineer Mystery. And it's a little bit overripe. <laughs> It's a giant. All of the tomatoes on this plant have been giant, but it's gorgeous. A really big, juicy tomato. Speaking of giant tomatoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> the largest tomato on record was picked in Oklahoma in 1986. It weighed over 3.5 kilograms, which is seven pounds, 12 ounces. Dang, that's a big tomato. I, I bigger think, than some babies. I think, yeah, <laughs> that, not my baby. My baby was eight point seven, right? Was she eight point seven? Something like she that. She was a big kid. She's like a hundred and <laughs> something now. All right, let's cut into this mountaineer mystery. Oh, I got flea. Can't get the. Woo! Oh, that's weird looking. That's interesting. That's what the inside of it looks like. Looks Almost can't get the whole thing in the. It looks like Wagyu beef. <laughs> don't it? I guess. I don't really know. Never. It's like marbled, you know? That's yeah, it does kind of look like, like there's a little, ew, fat, ew. Yeah. I don't want to think about that. Oh, that's what they do with that Wagyu. They like massage the cows and stuff. Mm, got a nice tomato smell. A5 Wagyu. Mm. Ooh, got a nice tomato flavor too. Classic tomato flavor. Oh, this is, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not very strong, though. No, but I don't know how I feel about the white. Like juicy. The uh, white stuff, I feel like it's crunchy. You think? I'm just going to cut out this. I'm yeah. not a fan. Like, I like it. It tastes fine. It's like crunchy. But. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't like how it looks. Yeah. No, all this waste stuff is like it's not. Mm. Like, like all this is hard to chew. Like this was what was last in my mouth, and it doesn't have much flavor. Mm. I, I'm what kind is, of disappointed. What is that it's one? so big. Mountaineer mystery. Is that the only one you have? Yes. Did it be I like that? Processed they, the others. They are in the freezer. Did they all look like this? Did it look I, like that because it got so big? I don't know. Maybe okay. I'll get another one and we'll. Another video. Let's try the other giant one that's sitting here staring at me. Mm, this okay. one has. Uh, whew, the plant has produced a bunch of these fruits. This is Jane Judy Clark's. Jane Judy Clark. Is it Jane Judy? Clark's family heirloom or Jane Judy's family heirloom. I don't know. I'll put the correct name up on the screen here. But they're all big and huge like this. And they have like dark, a dark greenish brown shoulder. And I think I've gotten probably 10 to 12 tomatoes in the past two weeks that are like this, that are ripe on there. All right, let's cut into it. Oh, interesting. Mm. Kind of got the little pockets, little for pockets. Things. Yep, for the salad dressing. Yeah, little ranch. Did I show pockets. them the center? I didn't. I don't think so. I'm That's more of a. I've been on it. a Caesar kick lately, so I'd pour okay. Caesar in it. Mm, I like my ranch. <laughs> All right, ready? Mm, mm. Kind of earthy smelling. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I like it. Mm. Yeah, it's got um, a good flavor. Yeah, I like that. Good balance of tart and sweet. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Not, not a whole lot of gel and seeds. Like, I don't know if you can see it. And that one didn't either. Not near mystery, but the gel and seeds. There's like little air pockets, so it doesn't fill. Little Caesar pocket. It doesn't fill in the holes there. That was pretty good. I like it way better than Mountaineer Mystery. Did you know that they love tomatoes so much in Ohio 
that tomato juice is this state drink. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. What's West Virginia state drink? I don't like tomato juice. <clears throat> I do, and I like a good, what's I it? I don't. Screw, no, not screw. No, it's a Bloody Mary, right? Bloody Mary, yeah. Yeah. As long as it's not too spicy. Some people make them really spicy. I actually canned Bloody Mary mix one year because I had so many tomatoes. I made my own tomato juice and made mm -hmm. my own Bloody Mary mix. It was okay. I actually made it too spicy for my liking, but... I'm not even a fan of, like, tomato soup. I don't like tomato That's soup. weird. I mean, if you dip a sandwich in it, it's okay, <clears> but I would never just eat tomato soup. That's gross. I like tomato soup with a, gr a really gross. good grilled cheese sandwich. Stop saying it's gross. It's not gross. Okay. I mean, a lot of people probably <clears> like it. All right, it. We, got, we got lots of tomatoes to get through. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's this one is done. the one that I should have done in the last taste test that I did. This one is the fuzzy blue balls. Mm -hmm. And it can you like feel Ooh, it? Let me see. It's kind of fuzzy. It's got a little bit of fuzziness to the yeah, skin. I see that. Now this doesn't have too much of the anthocyanin, but you can see just a hint of it. Now I do have some that are really blue on the top, but it gets dark on the top. But these didn't have the sun hitting them too much, so you can't really see it all that much. It's got like a fuzziness to the outside. And the plant itself was fuzzy. So oh call <laughs> fuzzy blue balls. Oh, I like how it cut. I like how that cut. I wouldn't watch and do it again. Oh, yeah. It cuts nice, nice and easy through the skin. Oh, so I'm man. thinking the skin isn't too tough. It smells much like nothing. Like it's just very, mm -hmm. like a very light flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, let's taste it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Very tart. Mm. I like it. I like it too tart. I think it's real tart right when you hit it. I like it. I don't like it. It's a good... Oh, there's the skin again. The skin. The skin. I think that's... I think we have to just get over the skin. I think the skin is... Well, gonna... it no, because not all of them are like that. Yeah, but... I think it's the way you cut them. Like, if you wouldn't wedge them, I don't think we'd have as much problem with the skin. Well, yeah, because Go ahead and cut. Water. Let me just do this here, man. Baby. What? Look, see that? Well, yeah, because now you don't have see? as much skin. The wedge, you have more. Now you have the top. That's fine. Don't be. Uh... No, I'm not going to eat that. That looks gross. Yeah, exactly. You like it how I cut it. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Go to the next one. You All like right, that so one? Fuzzy Blue Balls is a, a winner. I like it. It's, yeah, it's good. It's pretty I like good. It. And the skin's napkin. not as bad as some of the other ones we tasted. All right, this one is Green Giant. <clears throat> so it's pretty, it's interesting. Like it's got these dark splotches. Like at first I was like, did I drop it? But no, they all, they all have this kind of like dark splotchy look like, like they were dropped and it's like all over the tomato. And I didn't drop it and I didn't squeeze it too hard. So it's just the way the tomato looks. <laughs> but some of them have been much bigger than this. These are actually the two smaller sized ones. The other ones I've already processed before I was able to get to the taste test. So I'm gonna cut this smaller, smaller sized one. Let's get these out of the way. Oh my gosh, it's getting dark. I gotta get this done. Yeah. Ooh, very bright green in yeah, the middle. Yeah. That's fun. I'm doing the wedge. I like the wedge thing, dear. I don't know why. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Woo! Woo, that slaps me in the face. Mmm. Mmm. Very pungent. Very tart. Very tart. I like and it. Sweet. Yeah, tart and sweet. Very much. What's that That's got a good flavor. Green giant. Tastes just like we the like last the, the tart and we sweet like one. the green ones apparently. Yeah, Abraham Green. This kind of has the same. Yeah, this was good. I told you they all taste almost the same. Mm -hmm. No, they don't. I bet I could put those three in a row and you can pick them out. It's got some acid to it too, cause hmm, it's burning my throat a little bit. Uh -huh. All right, we got some more beautiful ones. More of that I was super excited to have. Okay. All right, we'll do this really gorgeous red one. This one is called Red Charcoal. So it's another anthocyanin variety. As you can see, the tops are um, wherever the sun was hitting are dark in color. And then there's the, oh, the bottom of that one doesn't look so great. <laughs> but 
this one does. That's what they're supposed to look like. Okay. So, red charcoal. I mean, and it is a bright red. I've never seen a tomato so bright. What? You better stab me in the face oh, with that stop. knife. Oh, stop. I did not. Watch the replay. Looks kind of boring in the, in the center of it. It's not boring on the outside. A little boring on the inside. Boring on the outside. All right, dear. You ready for your yeah, wedge? Yep. Oh, yeah. This looks like a perfect salad tomato. Mm. Mm. Very different than Green Giant. It's got a weird... I'm, it's not like classic tomato -y like no. I thought it was going to be. Mm -mm, it's not. I forgot to rinse my palate, so can it's, I get another little piece real it. quick? It's got an interesting aftertaste. Let me try this again. What is that that I'm tasting? It's different. Yeah. Is it like weird, like lemony? Lemon? I don't know. Not really any lemon. I'm not sure what I'm tasting, but it's not like a classic red tomato flavor, mm. but it's interesting. I like it. Mm-hmm. Different. It's very different. I like how pretty it is. It's really gorgeous with the dark shoulders. It's a nice saladette type size. They're all kind of small like this. I'll give it a 7.5. Okay. All right, here's one I'm super pumped about, dear. Oh, so excited for this one. This is probably my most anticipated. Oh. This is called California Tulip. Nice. Gorgeous. And they're all pretty much about the same size. Nice, this is nice. a smaller one, but these are mostly about this size. It's pretty prolific. There's a lot of these on there. Uh. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut it right down the center. Ooh, it's got the little air pockets little air packets there you could use this as like a stuffing tomato you could like because it's pretty solid it's a good solid type of uh oh, so you just yeah, like yeah, yeah. you could like cut off the bottom and make a flat bottom cut out the center and then fill it with like chicken salad or tuna salad oh, that would be good don't turn your nose up at it that'd be weird uh-uh no did you know that the tomatoes are the most popular vegetable in the U.S.? Are they? Really? How popular? I'm not really sure. Uh, <clears throat> it says they, uh, the average American eats 24 pounds. Oh, well, then we probably eat about 70. But pounds. why is it so hard <laughs> to get rid of them, though? I've tried to get rid of tomatoes. We have, Our whole floor is covered with tomatoes, and nobody wants them. Who didn't want the tomatoes? A lot of people, they said, nah. That's not true. Yeah. I was, my neighbor, I'm about to take my neighbor over an entire box because he said he wanted it. And I messaged another neighbor, just waiting to hear back from them. I don't know what you're talking about. He just doesn't want to deliver. Burning daylight here. Here we go. Here. California tulip. Let's taste this. Oh, I'm taking that out of my mouth and smell. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I think it tastes like the name. That tastes like a fruit. Mm-hmm. What's right. it called? California tulip. It tastes like fruit. Very bright. Very fun. It's very firm. Mm hmm Yeah. See, I had some skin at the end, but this skin's not that bad. No, this it's skin's not. not bad. Nope. You're right. The skin is like, it disintegrates with the rest of the tomato. It's not left at the end in your mouth. Oh, that's fun. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to take pictures of it. Where I carve out the center and fill it with chicken salad, and then I'm but gonna all the center is the good stuff. We've got four more deer. All right. This is sun blue. Now this is one of those ones again. It barely you can barely see the blue, but it's there. And I did have some that were like super duper blue. But this is again about the same size as like the red charcoal, kind of saladetti, kind of smaller. Saladetti. Sun blue. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty. That's like a, it's like an orange, yummy, dummy orange in the middle. All right, ready, dear? Yep. 
a wedge. It's about to be dark. Yep. Oh, so let's God. Get it, let's get it in. Gotta get this, this doesn't smell like much. No, it doesn't. Whoa. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's tart. <laughs> Yeah. Very juicy, very tart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good. Hard skin. Yeah. But I like it. Mm -hmm. That one's fun. That's like. It does have a little bit of fruitiness to it. I wake like you a, up in the morning. You want to wake up, you eat one of them. It's like a real tart fruit. Sun blue. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Okay, this one here is getting a little bit overripe. Let's get it done. All right. This is oh, Usuri yeah. Tiger. Oh. oh, I'll show you the nasty oh, spot. Yeah. This is Usuri Tiger. Again, another one I really liked. I must have really wanted to grow all the ones with the anthocyanin thing going on for them. But this one, again, has that anthocyanin top and then the bottom. And, um, oh, that one's not. There's another one. It's kind of small. Um, this is the one that's a little bigger. This one's getting too ripe, so we're not going to eat that one, but mm. this one we're going to cut into because I just picked this one today. Right. So this is your Surrey Tiger. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to cut into this one and see how it looks. Yep. It's the looks same. Looks the same. Yep. Yep. Looks the same. All right. And let's cut the wedges. Mm, that smells fun. You can smell it. it smells fun. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's woo. Very bright. I like it. I will say this plant is very prolific. Lots of fruit on it. I think one day, I think one day I picked like 10, 10 ripe tomatoes off of it. It's fine. It's kind of. Like, I'll give it a seven. It's kind of like not like not bland, but like not very strong. Yeah. I don't know the word I'm thinking of. It's not boring, but it's, nah, it's it's good. It's just like not super special either. It's pretty. It's just like regular. Yeah. It's a pretty tomato. I'd grow it again. Yeah, I'd eat it. All right, this is another one that I was super excited Whoa, about. Whoa! I oh. tell you what, you're dangerous with that knife. <laughs> okay, this one is called Tar Tops. And this has come, I've got two plants and the shapes on each of the plants is different, but the coloring and then the top, it being like dark around the top is kind of the same. Some of them are more dark than others, but this is about the size. The other one, the, the fruit's a little bit more elongated. I don't have any of those right now to show you, but. And it's, cut in, and it's got like a little bit of orangey-ness going on for right, it. Right, right, right. It's Whoa. really pretty. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, ew. Mm. Oh, I don't know about that. Let me cut this other one. No, it's the same. Oh, wow. It's very interesting. It's very cool looking. It looks mealy. It looks cool. Like it's going to be mushy. It doesn't look like it's going to taste good. But I like how it looks. It's kind of neat looking. If, it felt mealy as I was cutting into it. It looks mealy. Yeah, I don't know. It's, oh, it's not firm. It's very smushy. Oh, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, that, like that, smell that smells like a vegetable-y. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, like dirt. I don't think I'm going to like it. it oh, oh, my. What is that? It doesn't taste like how it smells. Mm-mm. I don't. Mm -mm. I like it more than I thought I would. I want another break. Definitely was the uh, like when you're expecting to taste yeah. something, mm -hmm. expecting to taste the Coke and you drink a water kind of thing. So now I'm gonna taste it again, expecting it's surprising what I'm gonna expect. Yeah, because that did not, I thought it was gonna be like real vegetable. -y. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. Ooh, it's tart, very acidic, very tart, very acidic. Very. Mm -hmm. You like acidic tomatoes, tart tops. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. 
it's it's really pretty i like it a lot that would add a lot of flavor to a sauce if you were like because yeah, when good. i make I, sauce I like that. everything goes in the pot i'm not very picky i i'm I, I was going to try to separate out all the whites and have like a white tomato sauce i failed i might do it later on white tomato sauce a white tomato sauce or green tomato I've never sauce. seen such a thing last one is old ivory egg and this is about the size of all of the fruits and this mm. is the fun cool shape old ivory egg last one we're tasting because it's about to get dark here Don't, do you have any is other? that the last one yeah do you have any, any more tomato facts? Yeah, is there anything fun you'd like to say? Yeah, here, Claude. Um, did you know that Heinz tomato ketchup has a speed limit? What? A speed limit? <laughs> yes, I what? do not remember this, so I'm going to have to read it. Okay. It says, if the yummy sauce pours at more than 0 .028 miles per hour, when it's in the Heinz tomato ketchup factory, it is considered to be too runny and it's rejected. Wow, I wonder what, if it's can, if it pours slower or? Yeah, cause you, like if it's run. I wonder yeah, what that you, looks like. How do they like point two, point zero two eight miles per hour? Like that's slow. Like that's why you can't get the tomato out of the jar. And I'm a Heinz tomato ketchup lover. Like, Unless you I get don't, the squeeze bottle. I use Hunts for one thing and one thing only. And that is my, uh, what are they called? My steamers. You're killing me with that, man. People are going <clears> to <throat> think you beat me because I'm like no. flinching so much. Steamers, you oh, use. Oh, no, steamers. Steamers, yeah. you use Hunts ketchup. Yeah. Anything else. Like for dipping, it's got to be Heinz. I love Heinz. But you know how like you're at like a diner and they got the glass bottles and you're like, bah, yeah. Bah, bah, bah. yeah, well that's why you get the squeezy ones. You never get it out. All right, this is old ivory egg. I think I'm gonna cut this one. It is getting dark. It's like getting dark. We gotta do this fast. Okay, dear. You take okay. this piece and I'll take that piece. Okay. Hmm. boring <laughs> there's nothing to that that's very tastes, er earthy vegetable i think you think i don't even think it tastes like that i think it tastes like water no i got like a earthy like a vegetable-y kind of taste maybe a little bit but it's, it's not like bad very bland it's just very bland green giant <laughs> we like the greens I feel what's like the green oh is this that giant? one that's yep. tart green yeah that's giant's fun the winner. i like that we liked fuzzy blue balls we like Jane Judy. Yeah, I've been eating a lot of these dark ones lately. And uh, I think we like Sun Blue too, right? Uh, probably. California tulip. This one we liked. We like California this one you're tulip. Gonna make a, I'm gonna stuff it. To make tuna Break stuffing. It. All right, so it's. <laughs> That's one thing I like tuna, but no <clears> one. <throat> I don't like it thrown on me. I love. I love that this one tasted good. I'm glad it wasn't nasty tasting or boring tasting, and I think it will be great stuffed. But some of these others, like red charcoal and sun blue, or is it blue sun? I can't remember which one it is. And fuzzy blue ball. I just grew a lot of fun looking tomatoes this year. And it's just been very exciting to harvest them all and to do these taste tests. So I hope you're enjoying them. I'm enjoying doing them. Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying doing oh, them? Oh, it's a blast. <laughs> oh, a smash. And it's not hot today, smash. so no. it's a smash. Mm, All right, well, well, we'll see you in the next one because we got six more we got to do in the next three days. Peace. Enjoy your day. Bye, guys.